Good morning. I just spent my morning filling out my absentee ballot for Maine. I don't think it's gonna get there in time. It's due tomorrow. And sometimes it only takes a day to get up there. Sometimes it takes two. It might be late. I didn't vote on anything exciting though because I'm independent, registered still in Maine as Maine resident because I'm a student here and I just haven't changed over my residency because I can't right now. So because I'm independent, I can't vote in the primaries in the state of Maine. So that was just like bond issues and um, one of them was to get high speed internet in like remote areas. So I voted for that. Dive into the 1990s Maine. Just get in there. All right. Morning up. Sorry for the fan. It's really loud. And now it's dark. But it is morning up. I am finishing getting ready. I'm very excited. Um, I haven't worn makeup in a long time or done my eyebrows, so suddenly all I can see is my eyebrows. Wow. Uh, I haven't finished my look either. My eyes look crazy. But here we go. Hopefully today I can get the registration solved. If not, I'm going to be very, very sad <laughs> this evening if I find out I can't take it. I'm laughing, but it's a nervous laughter. Um, and I realized too, it's like 10 minutes to class, so I'm finishing getting ready, and I normally eat breakfast at my desk, and I can't do that in class, and I like forgot, because I haven't been a human in like five months, um, and so I have to like wolf down right now something I can find, the only thing I can think of that's like readily, easily available to eat really quickly is a packet of tuna, so I'm probably going to do that <laughs> for breakfast. noise all right halfway through the morning and i am dying i'm not halfway through the morning i don't even know what time it is <laughs> halfway through the day i'm dying i already had two cups of coffee so i'm breaking in the five hour energy this video is sponsored by five hour <laughs> i'm just kidding i wish they could probably pay me a lot of money feel free to um come at me five hour energy i will accept that sponsorship deal eh anyway Zach's trying to take my five hour energy, even though he isn't the one that has class today. No, you don't. Your class is on Tuesday. Monday, Wednesday. No. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> but you didn't have homework last night. You just slept peacefully while I slaved away supporting this family. Anyway, it is our lunch break. Zach is playing a nice video game. And I am just going to wrap up some thoughts. And good news, I got registered for my class again. They did not explain at all why I was dropped. They're just like, oh, sorry about that. You're all set now. And I'm like, okay, thanks. It only caused a full day of panic, but great. And I was not the only one it happened to, which made me feel better in a drown with me kind of way. Okay want to share also update I have not managed yet to smudge my makeup which is a huge accomplishment because lately whenever I've worn makeup I do that because I forget I'm wearing it because I don't wear it anymore but haven't done that yet are you impressed by me Zach very impressed how impressed you're the most impressive person I know you heard it here first folks <laughs> All right, so during break, I just submitted the two pages to the editor that was going to be reviewing my work this weekend, and they will let me know essentially if based on these two pages, like the beginning of my novel, if they would pass or ask for more. And that was so scary. Oh my gosh, so but I like read through it again because like I want it to be perfect and I don't want the reason that they would pass just to be oh there was too many grammar mistakes because that like is not helpful I mean it's a helpful point but I'm just saying it's not like I want more structural feedback on why they would pass and so uh, I actually already changed some things um, way before I even like have people workshop or I changed some things from what my classmates will workshop so I guess that's the downside of that because i hope their feedback isn't on the things that i already just changed sorry i'm not making sense i'm just so like oh my gosh what a scary rush like if this is how it feels just to have like a faux querying moment i cannot imagine how it's going to feel when i actually start to query because it's like my heart was pounding when i hit submit 
and just oh my gosh i hope they like it <sighs> essentially they're gonna tell each and every one of us if they would pass or not like pass or play <laughs> and um i mean i want them to be honest and like give it if they are gonna pass give an actual re like give a reason so i can fix that like it's no help if they're just if they say play essentially to everybody um because that's not good feedback but obviously in my heart i want them to be like yes i would definitely ask for more this is the best thing i ever read <laughs> but i know that that probably is not gonna happen i want some good feedback i'm excited i find out on saturday <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling much more awake now. Thanks, 5 Hour Energy. Thanks for that sponsorship money. What up? Click down below for 5% coupon code <laughs> for your $2 5 Hour Energy journey. Wow, that was extreme. I thought I would do my final check in before. This is a bad angle. Um, I take off my makeup for the day because it is a rare occurrence that I am wearing makeup <laughs> these days. <laughs> Gotta document this. Alright. The class, obviously, from my being here is done. Totally making sense. I am so tired. Uh, the 5 hour energy did help a lot, so thank God for that. Once again, thanks uh, 5 hour energy for that sponsorship. I seriously am so in love with this class. I feel like I'm going to learn so freaking much in just one week. I'm so excited. Um, and just, I think my instructor is really great too. So just to kind of like quickly talk about what we did, cause it was, you know, 10 to five. <laughs> it was a long class. It looks like the structure is going to be, the morning session is going to focus on an element of craft. And then the afternoon is going to be a workshop, which is pretty similar to how a lot of my creative writing classes have gone. Um, and so today, one thing we really talked about, um, just using like reading examples that we did. Oh, here's that coming. Filming with someone always here has been one of the main reasons I haven't been filming. <laughs> Um, just because I hate vlogging when someone's listening to me. Using the reading assignment that we had today, um, we talked a lot about how you can use the physical scene descriptions and setting um, to portray emotions that your character is feeling. So this is one way you can do the whole show, don't tell. Um, but not just showing as in like the simple like mentioning that your character's brows furrowed so that means that they're confused or something like that um but using actually the setting itself to set the tone to reflect or parallel the character's emotions and it was an exercise i never actually never done before um and so that was really cool we basically picked it didn't have to be an actual scene in our story but just using one of the characters from our story and like writing a quick 15 minute blurb um, writing for 15 minutes to do this exercise where we thought of an emotional state of our character and then write it so that the physical scene is used in a way like I said that perils or reflects those emotional feelings and so I'll probably include what I wrote in my I'll pin it in the comments below or add it to the description or something just so you can see what I'm talking about so basically I decided to focus on the feeling dread and so I used I wrote the scene in a way that I hope paralleled that feeling and I just I had never done that before. I mean I've done fear because I feel like fear is the very natural one where you're like you know oh it's dark and like there's a bunch of shadows you know what I'm talking about um and like I guess happiness too like if like sun comes through and that kind of thing but just to use a little bit more complex of feelings or just different feelings and writing your scene so that it parallels it just adds a layer of depth to the story um and a layer of creativity that's not just like saying what's happening and being clear about in your prose so i thought that was a really cool exercise and i thought i would mention it um, and then the other thing we talked about was a narrative distance which is another thing i haven't really um had talked about in my 
any of my classes so far so i guess that's one reason i really like this class too is i was kind of afraid how much of this is going to be repetitive because like i've done classes before that are you know craft than workshop style but actually so far nothing has been repetitive um and i'm really happy about that <laughs> uh, and so we talked very specifically about narrative distance and again specifically more with third person so what i'm talking about is like uh like omniscient narrative versus like um is omniscient the one that's really far away i think so <laughs> and then like close narrative and not just like defining those terms but just how that is done and so like things i wrote um like things that affect it one names how you name your character if you don't give them a name versus if you call them by their first name versus their full proper name so like mrs smith was walking down the street that's pretty distant versus charlene was walking down the street and felt afraid because a cloud had moved over the moon you know what I mean? So like you're describing her fear versus just telling from a distance. Um, other things that can affect it, grammar and syntax, colloquial speech versus high diction, vocabulary, you know, are you using the vocabulary your character would use or in a more casual tone? Kind of like um, JK Rowling, she uses very casual young adult uh tone and so that sort of reflects more with harry so we feel closer to him versus like a really distant like formal tone that wouldn't match the main character and yeah blah 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 <laughs> and more information um if you guys want me to talk more specifically exactly about what i'm learning let me know because i'm happy to do so it helps me remember it and they say one of the best ways to retain information to understand information is to then have to teach it so yeah I'm not a great teacher though. <laughs> like you definitely should not just be part of the school of Haley, Haley University. There's a reason my channel is vlogging and not tips and tricks. <laughs> but that's it for day one of my camp, summer camp workshop, writing residency workshop thing. I should come up with a name. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can at least pretend to live out my fantasy of going to a summer camp. That's all I ever wanted. Not really. I got homesick a lot as a child. So mostly I just regret never having experienced it in full. I kind of did it, but that's another story in itself. I'm going to take this makeup off now because I have not rubbed my eyes. Right? I didn't do it? Nope. I have not rubbed my eyes and like... 10 hours, 9 hours, and uh, not used to that. <laughs> I, I like a good eye rub. That's a weird thing to say. Alright. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. I should actually edit a video then, that means. What? You okay? Oh, you're filming? Sorry. This is why I can't film with you. You just won't. You just walk it in. <laughs> I brought a little critter for you. You brought a critter? Say yeah. You don't want her in here? Where is she? She's right there. Come here. Where? Where is she? Come up, come up. Let's find a wild kitty cat. Um, I don't know where she went. Kimmy? See a tail. I see a tail. <laughs>